Shalom. First and foremost, I'm gonna give all glory and praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim Rakakudash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. On this incitation to the hopeful leg pushes for to sincerity. All right, this is brother Tuwa you know, GMS LA Empire, back with another pre-workout for camp. And what I want to focus on today is offense. You know what I'm saying? Because Satan, as the scriptures say, Satan is like a war lion, seeking whom he may devour. And he's, and he's, and he's um, you know, he's going throughout the, the brotherhood, you know, Satan trying to get in there, creep in brothers' minds and, and cause offenses. You know, whether it was a, whether it's with another brother or within your own self, your own your own mind. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shah, he made this statement for all of us brothers today. He's speaking towards his disciples, but it applies to us today. And I'm gonna read it. This is uh Matthew chapter 11, verse 6. It says, And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. And you know, when you come into this truth, a lot, a lot of things that we learn in the world, we come to know as, as false, as, as false, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of things that's in this truth that we're gonna hear, you know, coming out of this world, you know, we may get offend, offended going through certain situations. But we gotta keep in mind that these things are gonna happen and we, we can't allow this, those offenses put us in a, in a bitter spirit, in, in an unfruitful spirit. You know, because then you will notice, you know, your, uh, the people that get in that spirit, what they do, they start blaming the people in the truth. They start blaming the uh, the, the, the doctrine or whatever, because they 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 uh, they in that spirit of being offended. They they're, they're offended by the Lord, you know, and that could be through anything. Matter of fact, it's a one account when uh, when this young man he came to the Lord and he asked the Lord, what should he do to ever um, inherit everlasting life? Bear me one second, I'm gonna get it. This is uh, Matthew chapter 19, verse, I started at uh, 19 and 16. It says, and behold, one came and said unto him, good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is, that is the most high. But if thou will enter into life, keep the commandments. Right, so he told the young man, if you want to uh, enter into everlasting life, keep the commandments. All right, and he said, he said unto him, what Yahweh Shai said, thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, honor thy father and thy mother, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And the young man said unto him, all these things have I kept from my youth. What? I lack I yes. So he's asking the Lord, what do I lack? I kept, kept all these things. The outside said unto him, if thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven and come and follow me. Right? It says, but when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. So that was an offense to him. It was an offense to hear those words come from from the outside directly. Say, man, okay, you want to really, you really want to come on this level? Give for what you have. Give to the poor and come follow me. And that, that and then the young man couldn't, he couldn't bear hearing those words. And that was that that and that offense uh, prevented him from following the Lord. You know, and that's just one uh, case. There's many cases. You know, it doesn't always have to be financial. It could be anything. You know, anything that can cause an offense, a stumbling block for us, we gotta be mindful of that and pay attention to that. You know, and pray fast and, and fight, man. Fight that good fight of faith and, and to, you know, do the do those things necessary so we don't get over consumed by that, that fucking old spirit, spirit of being offended. You know? Yeah, but that's pretty much it. I just wanted to hit the quick point. Lord willing, this was edifying to you. Sincere brothers and sisters that watch. Shalom, stay strong. Yahweh Shimao Shad, Barack Thumb. To all you brothers, shalom.